Hey guys, what is up? It is Peace of Prestige, and today I'm back with building Prestige Heights in Planet Coaster. And it's been quite a week, and I'm really happy to get this episode out here. Um, now, basically, what we're doing in this episode is we're just finishing off some minor details of the build, and we're also going to build a new kind of storage area right here. Now, I'm not really sure why I picked this um, this floor right here because I think it looks a little bit too nice for a castle like this. You know, everything is kind of um, you know, kind of like cobblestone, basically, just just meshed together with some uh, cement between it. And this is some <laughs> it's a really nice slate right there that's laying there. And um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that. I might switch it out for something else. But I really like the way this uh, this room looks. And this is going to be one of the final episodes. Well, kind of the final episode uh, for now, uh, where we do the interior work of the coaster. Because I'm gonna stop that for a uh, for a while. You know, I've been doing that for a couple of episodes in a row, and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to do something else, I, I kind of want to switch it up a little bit, you know, do some other work as well that has to be done for the coaster, uh, which is going to be the layout of the coaster, and it's also going to be the outside of the castle, which is going to be really cool, you know, I'm going to try to incorporate the path into it, uh, so that the peeps can actually walk around the, uh, the actual um, castle, and what I was thinking about, right, is I have, I've built the, um, the castle entrance right there, the gate, and after that, only after that, you come to the coaster. And the coaster is going to be like the main castle mansion kind of thing, you know. Um, and the other wall is more like a city wall, actually, instead of a castle wall. Which is, I, I guess it's kind of the same. Um, <laughs> but, you know, this is kind of a larger scale. This is kind of going to be a, um, a wall that's going to be around the area. And on the back, I'm not going to theme the back, of course, because I only need to theme the front of it. Because that's what the peeps actually see. You know, I'm also trying to keep the, um, you know, the scenery not to a minimum. You know, I really like the way that I can um, put scenery just everywhere, basically. But I kind of don't want this park to become a lag fest, and with that, I mean that I might add too much scenery in the end. Um, that it's not going to be great for recording the uh, final episode, which would be a bummer. Uh, but I think we're doing fine now. I can easily run it on 60 frames per second on max on 4K. So that's that's awesome. You know, I don't record it 4K actually. Um, but I, I can't play it if I record it, you know, it, it immediately just goes down to about 30, 40 frames per second because Fraps has to write all the data for the videos. And even though I do it to an SSD, you know, it still takes up some time. And when you have an uncompressed video of 4K, that just, yeah, it just can't keep up. Now, you know, these, these molding pieces right here that I'm placing, uh, <laughs> I use these a lot actually now. Uh, also on the uh, on a bridge that I will build later this episode, um, but you'll see me just try to fill up some space with that. And you know, on one side, on the one uh, well, on the one hand, I think it looks kind of cool, and on the other hand, it's kind of uh, I'm not really sure. You know, it's you can easily use it to clean up, like to fill up a space or to fill up a gap between some walls. Um, but I don't really like the look of it. I actually like the look of the wooden overhangs in the uh, roof sections. The one that you see on the right right there now. Um, but, you know, I kind of like that more. And uh, I might switch up some things, you know. I um, I can redesign stuff, of course. You can easily redesign stuff with this. It's, it's just it's such a cool game that you can edit buildings really easily. And you can just drag a building away and place it back in. And that's one of the things that I like the most. Now... I started doing some outside work right here, and I made kind of a mistake. Instead of making it modular like a separate tower that I could copy paste, I actually built the <coughs> built this on the footprint. I'm sorry, um, of the actual castle, like of the storage room. So later I tried to copy it, and I was like, "Well, you know what? It's <laughs> it's connected to the entire thing." So I had to select all the different bits, like one by one and you know I really like the way that uh, the railings right there that I placed in the windows actually kind of make it look like there's bars in the windows which looks kind of cool but on the uh, on the say you know on the other side it's kind of a lot harder to select them because actually the like the hitboxes of the objects sometimes are still kind of weird you know you, you just sometimes you can't really select something eh? you just have to counter Z your way out of it and if you already did some more actions you know after placing that piece uh, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna cost some, uh, yeah, some time to do everything again. It's just, it's kind of annoying sometimes. It happens, uh, it happened to me with the cannons, I believe. It was one of the cannons that I couldn't delete anymore, and also uh, some wall pieces that are, you know, that are just there, or some, uh, some small scenery pieces, for example, that are right there, like halfway through a wall, and you just can't select them, and you have to delete the wall, 
and then you can select them from a different angle. Sometimes, I don't know why it does that, but sometimes for me it just doesn't work out that well. Now what you can see here is, uh, you know, still a little bit of uh, detail work on the inside of the coaster. This is just going to be the very simple, like, tunnel that you, that you go into with the coaster when you, uh, like, enter the ride. Uh, this is gonna be where the first sequence is actually happening and I made the um, like the the rock skull kind of thing right there with the lights in the eyes and I didn't really want the peeps to see that you know when they go through this tunnel so in a moment you actually see me place a flag you know I tried to put some scenery down here and I just it just didn't really work out <laughs> the way I planned it out to be uh, I just placed some lanterns in the end and I placed a flag right there on him because now you can see the skull right there in the background. And I didn't really want, you know, the peeps to see that when uh, the train actually stops here. So I decided, you know, I'm going to grab one of those big flags and actually put it there. And it kind of masks it off and it, it just works. It works great. So basically what I'm going to do, right, is the coaster normally when you play the game and you enter the ride and you, you know, do the coaster cam and you ride the coaster. The coaster is going to ride, uh, ride through that sh uh, stuff right there. And... You know, it's gonna keep going, but in the final video, I'm probably gonna stop it a little bit, you know, make the lights flicker or something like that, and do sort of a audio sequence where the peeps get really frightened, and then they go on to uh, the inside of the castle, basically. That's gonna be, I think that's gonna be, like, super fun to do, you know? I really like to edit videos, I really like to, you know, make up stories, and um, kind of play along with it, you know? Kind of be my own actor, uh, in a sense, and... It's, yeah, I, I just can't wait to get started with that, but before we do that, of course, we gotta finish the entire area. So that's gonna be kind of um, the challenge for now, you know, to do that before uh, the new alpha comes out. And I think we will make it, you know, I'll, uh, I'm gonna put some more time into it. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of more videos to come, and it's just, I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do, because I really love uh, doing this. Now, I actually found out that I can, uh, like, fill up the spaces, the creases between the rocks with some foliage, and that worked great. Also, right there, you know, in the little cavern you go through from the tunnel into the actual cave system, city sort of thing, um, there's actually a lot of foliage. It was very dark when I placed it, like, a minute back, uh, so you couldn't really see it that well, but, you know, I'll, um, in the next park tour, which is gonna be episode 20, now I'm gonna show you around and you know we can see all the detail in there and now I got another email let's turn it off there we go um, <laughs> so yeah just trying to add some detail you know to the walls and make it make them look all fancy um, there's actually like a couple of things that I um, that I still want to discuss in this video and that's you know basically going to be the way that this coaster is going to work. Now, this coaster, of course, is like an arrow looper. Uh, even though I kind of more likely going to see it like a Vekoma looper. And that's going to, you know, I really like Vekoma coasters. Um, many people hate them. Many people think they're very uh, unsmooth. But <laughs> I, uh, I beg to differ. I mean, it's, you know, you don't love coasters. Well, some coasters you do love for their smoothness. But some coasters are just great for the feel. And I think that this coaster is going to gonna have some pretty cool you know some pretty cool elements in it uh, I can't wait to get started on the actual layout of the coaster when I'm doing actually when I'm going to do the layout of the coaster I'm gonna live stream it on twitch so if you want to follow me on twitch you can uh, follow the link in the description and you can see me stream now I'm also you know the day I'm gonna upload this I'm also gonna be streaming some no limits 2 I'm doing a collaboration which I already told you about uh, in a previous video but I'm doing a little collaboration uh, of a coaster and I'm doing the theming for it. So that's what I'm going to be live streaming today. Um, so, you know, there's there's a lot of stuff coming up and I can't wait to get this area right here the way it's supposed to be. Now, what you can see here is pretty weird, right? Because it's in a um, in a castle, kind of, and you have this big mountainous, not really mountainous, but kind of like a big pile of rocks. And I'm going to make it kind of blended into the scenery more, you know, with some trees and some foliage and all the good stuff, you know, some buildings on it. Um, but basically what this is going to be is this is going to be like the creepy entrance to the cave and you know it's it's kind of on the side of the um, of the actual like city piece uh, which which you enter like the theme area but you know it's still kind of it's still kind of there you know when you enter the area you will see it right away it will be the first thing you see and that's something that I really wanted to achieve here now this gate makes no sense at all I, <laughs> I wasn't really sure where I was where I was going with this you know I really like the idea of building a um, a gate right here before you enter the actual cave like a, a little pre gate and right here you can actually see me fill up the space again with those molding pieces which didn't really work out in the end right here I had to fill them up like that um, but yeah who looks at the ceiling right I mean 
Yeah, on the bottom right there, be uh, beneath the um, the path, you can actually see me in a moment. Uh, use the wooden overhang pieces from the roof set uh, to fill up the space, and I think that works out a lot better. I might replace the uh, the molding pieces with that later on, uh, off camera, of course, because that's not that's not really fun to watch. It's gonna take some time, so I'm just gonna do that off camera, I think. Um, but yeah, this this gate it's, it just makes no sense. I added this like um, this fence right here that was supposed to the, well the ba the balconies uh, which were supposed to be like the gate that can drop down. But then I thought like you know it's pretty weird because there's no space for a gate to hang right there. You know it's it's just the arc and then above that it's a meter of stone and then it's just nothing. You know and you can't really <laughs> fit something in there. Um, so I actually decided to take those out later and. I think I like the way it looks now. Uh, let me know what you think about, you know, how this um, how this castle should look. I'm, I'm trying to base it, not really base it of a real castle, uh, but of something in my head, you know, kind of Game of Thrones stylish, uh, because I'm a great fan of the show. <laughs> but also that, um, you know, it's, I don't know, it's just, I'm going to picture a, um, a castle which I would like to have built if I were living in the medieval times, you know, where I would like to have my home and uh, also strategic. So that's pretty, you know, it's going to be a lot of work to get the actual castle finished, uh, but I think in the end it's, it's going to be totally worth it. Now this wall, it kind of extends out uh, towards the rock pile right there, and I'm not really sure where I'm going with that. It might just be like the outer, um, the outer wall of the actual mansion castle instead of like the city wall so you would have a city wall which is like the big wall that defends the entire city and then on the inside you have an extra wall for the actual castle where the king lives in kind of um where you basically can enter but only through the gate and it's gonna be pretty cool you know it's there's gonna be multiple gates of course because not like a lot of castles have one gate well some do but like the larger castles mostly have different gates on different parts and I'm going to try to incorporate paths into every single part that the peeps can actually like ride rides on top of the mountain or inside the castle and also go to restaurants and that kind of stuff you know I really want to have a nice terrace like on top of the um, on top of the rocks that actually overlooks the entire park and that's gonna be pretty cool now right here I'm just kind of uh, finishing off the um, the build for this episode <laughs> I'm just adding some lights and right now I'm doing a very quick uh, walkthrough in a moment of the queue area I do that sometimes to just get the feel for it you know you can't really build something unless you also look at it from a peeps perspective and that's something I really like so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys later peace from Pieces of Prestige.